I want you to practice making decisions that disappoint people. What I mean is that many of us are kind-hearted people that are so afraid to disappoint other people in our with our decisions. And what happens is we keep pleasing other people and we burn ourselves out. That is not the way to build a personally sustainable and successful business. If you want to have a successful business, you've got to make decisions that often disappoint some people. Okay, let me give you some examples, small examples that you can start to practice with. What about not getting back to people quickly? When people email you or message you, do you feel like, oh, I got to get back to them because I don't like the feeling of disappointing them? If that's the case, then I want you to practice not responding to your emails quickly. I want you to practice not responding to your text messages or your private messages quickly. That decision is an empowering decision for you. And you need to practice feeling, oh God, it's this fear of, of making such and such person uh, not happy with me. That feeling will come, you'll feel it, okay? And then it'll pass and you'll be stronger for having felt it. The next time you make that decision again, the feeling will come, you'll notice it, you'll feel it, you'll let it pass, and you'll be even more stronger. The more you do this, the more empowered you actually get to be able to build an authentic business. That's really what authentic business is. It's be able to make choices that are aligned with your purpose no matter what kind of judgments you might get from others. Now, it's not that we want to get back to people slowly, but there's a difference between getting back to people quickly because you feel bad about disappointing them versus, let's get this here, let's experience not getting back to people quickly and feeling those feelings and letting it pass and realizing we're okay and then becoming stronger. And then, and then after a while, we're like, you know what, I'm actually really okay now with not getting back to people quickly. Now, now you can stretch yourself professionally and personally by getting back to people a little bit more quickly, but now you're doing it because of good customer service. You're now doing it because you want to be a better networking person, not because you feel badly or not because you're afraid of others feeling badly. Do you see the difference? The difference is making a choice out of fear of others feeling badly and judging you. That's living a life of fear versus making a decision out of love to say, I want to serve that other person, not because they're going to feel badly if I don't. What a difference. Now, this is really important because so many of us, kind-hearted people, have practiced a life of fear. And it's not of love. We think we're being loving, but we're actually just living in a lot of fear that other people might judge us or uh, we might disappoint other people. And we make these decisions that make us weaker so that we can please other people. This is a life of fear. It's not love. No, not love at all. It, it's disguised as love, but it's not love. What's real love is when we connect with our eternal source of love and say, I don't care if I don't get love from anybody else because I've got love right here, right here. I've got as much love as I need is right here, right now by myself. And when we can connect with that eternal source of love and realize that all these feelings will come and go and just be okay, then once we become strong, now we can really love others to say, all right, I used to, I practiced getting back to people after three days instead of in the past where I stressed myself out getting back to people the same day. Now three days, I'm totally fine with that now. Now I'm going to stretch myself a little bit in love and try to get back to people in two days or a day and a half a little bit faster than I used to be now because of love, not because I want, I'm afraid to, to, to disappoint them. So whether that's getting back to people or whether that's raising your rates, right? Raising your rates should be done at least once a year. Well, one to, one to two times a year. Oh, I'm so afraid of raising my rates because it might disappoint my clients or my prospective clients might feel shocked by the new rate. 
Let them be. Let them feel those feelings. And here's the thing. As long as you do it kindly, you can make any decision you want. As long as you do it kindly, you can be as firm with your boundaries as you want. Kindness, in fact, kind yet firm, will actually give others a positive experience of encountering reality, <laughs> okay? What I mean is that them feeling badly about your decision isn't really your fault. They've lived an entire life of disappointing experiences, all of us have to some extent. They've lived a life of disappointing experiences, now they encounter your decision that disappoints them too. It's 0.0001% you're doing. It's really mostly their entire life. You can't change their life. So you can't change the past that they've experienced. All you can do is to live your purpose and to communicate these things kindly. And when you do communicate it kindly, they actually get to practice encountering reality in a kind way, even if it's disappointing. They get to practice feeling the feelings and being okay with it. So don't protect people from feeling disappointed. You can't protect everybody, right? All you need to do is live your purpose. So anyway, I hope this is helpful. Whether it's raising your rates, getting back to people quickly, writing emails that are as long as they write, whatever, you know, sometimes I write emails that are much shorter than people write and they might be surprised, but that's okay, as long as I do it kindly, okay? Sometimes my emails are longer than theirs because I'm answering a question, whatever. But it's, you know, don't have to do what other people think you should do, okay? Raising your rates, getting back to people at the length and frequency, um, being afraid whether uh, what you put out there might, might not align with what other people like. Practice the feeling of not, not knowing and still publishing anyway, and you get stronger every time. Anyway, I hope this is helpful, and um, I look forward to seeing if, uh, if, if you practice and how you get stronger as a result. Be well.